welcome to part three. Um, okay, we've set the teeth along the, the um, saw blade, and now we're ready just to quickly stone off down the sides. Just take the saw out of the bite. These little diamond stones are absolutely perfect for this job. Um, they just need a touch of lubrication. And then gently, very gently, really, really lightly, just Couple of strokes down each side. That'll be just enough to knock off any high spots and make sure that the set's even from both sides. If you've got too much set on one side of the blade, the saw's going to try and veer off in that direction. So if you're getting an even um, fault with the, the saw trying to cut in one direction repeatedly, the problem's in the saw, not in what you're doing with it. Okay, let's have a little bit of a test. A lump of oak here. Okay. Now, a lot of people try and start with a backstroke, which is not the correct way to to use these saws. Um, if you start off with the with a very slight angle upwards on the saw and take a full stroke but I'm bearing the weight of the saw. I'm doing this as though I was doing it in the air and it just happens to be kissing the top of the teeth. Um, if you think of the amount of weight that the saw is that the wood is taking um, as that's like your, your gas pedal, your accelerator. Um, so if the, the wood is bearing all of the weight of the saw, then that's full throttle. And if you're holding most of the weight of the saw, then that's tick over. And you're working between those two. So resting all of the weight on the, of the saw on the timber and then just pushing, that's like um, sitting in a car on the starting line and just flooring it and you're just going to get wheel spin. So you need to start off with you taking most of the weight and just do one gentle full stroke. My thumb is resting on the timber on the other side, just as a guide, and my thumbnail's touching the side of the saw blade, just ever so lightly. That just keeps it balanced. So, now that we're into the cut, um, I can see the reflection of the timber in the side of the saw blade. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. Um, but it appears as though the wood's just continuing straight through. And it's level in this, um, in both planes. So it's not doing that or that. And it's not doing that or that. I hope that's coming out because it's a really useful tip. Once the kerf is established, all you're doing is providing forwards and backwards motion. You can have a really loose grip on the handle of the saw. I'm barely touching that. I've just got my hand loosely clasped around it and my finger along the side of the saw. Um, and then it's just a question of moving it backwards and forwards and allowing the weight of the back to push the teeth down onto the timber. There's no downward pressure being applied at all. continue to fall vertically through the timber and you'll get a nice straight cut. Thanks very much for watching and uh, I hope it's been useful to you. Thank you very much.